I am here to give you a reason to buy more tools. Now, a lot of the tools that you're going to see are not the sexiest tools in the world. I'm not going to sit here and say, this is the best impact driver or this is the best circular saw. I may have said this before, but the best circular saw is the one you already own as long as it works properly. These are tools that over the years, thing, people have said things to me like, hey, where did you get that? Or I really need to get one of those. These are tools that are going to make your life, your projects, everything you're doing a little bit easier or a little bit better from my point of view. They aren't super costly. Some of them are under 10 bucks. Some of them are a little over 200 bucks. All of this is in Canadian dollars. I'll post some links in the description. Now, we're going to get started with the first tool that I cannot live without is my Milwaukee jab saw, right? It's a very simple, it's for cutting drywall. Now, if you hang board for a living, this is not for you. Right? You're going to use a regular jab saw that's fixed that sits in your pouch. For me, I have this because I keep it in my pouch at all times. Right, I just fold it up and slide it into my pouch and it's always with me. Whereas a jab saw, I don't really have a space in my pouch for a jab saw that it doesn't stick out and stab me all the time. So I use that. It's great. You can replace the blade. Right, The blade just kind of comes out and then when you need to replace it you just pull it apart and it's a regular sawzall blade nothing crazy nothing fancy and then it just goes right back in and goes right back in right it goes right back in and then you fold it up and you throw it in works great not crazy expensive i got mine at home depot loved it up next is a hook that goes on my pouch. This, if you don't wear a pouch, this isn't gonna come in handy. And a lot of your drills and impact drivers have a hook that you can attach to it that will go on your pouch. However, years ago, I started using one of these and I'm talking like 15 years ago when I started out. I have a different one before called the Big Lug. This one, I got a Home Depot and it's called T IDL Tools. If you just search belt hook, it'll come up. Whether I'm framing and I throw my impact on this or I'm doing trim and I have the oscillating tool with me or I hook a roll of tape on it while I'm tuck taping vapor barrier, it just comes in a really, really handy along the way. And again, it just hooks right onto my pouch. Just like that. And I have it with me at all times so that I don't have to, if I'm up a ladder, I can hook my impact on and I can do whatever I need to do. I don't need to be having to pick it up off the ground. It makes my life a lot simpler and it helps me to do things a lot faster. Next up is something that, these are my earplugs. They are designed to prevent me from getting headaches. I like these because the little white things in there, they go in, they don't just stick in my ear like the orange ones that are cheaper. These are about 10 bucks. Canadian. I cannot live without these. You're going to be using hammer drills, circular saws, chop saws, reciprocating saws, impact drivers, drills. You're going to be demo. You're going to be taking things apart, putting them together, hammering stuff. The sound bounces off the walls. And after a few hours, I would get headaches. So I always have these. They just hook on. I've got them with me all the time. And I can hear what's going on around me but I can also dampen the vibration and the noise coming at me at the same time while I'm working. So if somebody starts talking to me, I can hear them talking, but I can also not get crushed by the sound of the impact driver, the nail gun, as I use it over and over and over again. And it always kind of sits in my pouch. The next thing that I'm gonna have with me on all my job sites is for my sanity, which is a radio. So I recently got this. This is the DeWalt Bluetooth radio. It's corded. It's cordless, right? It, it picks up all the stuff off my phone. So whether I'm listening to a podcast or you listen to audiobooks or you listen to music or whatever it is, 
this bad boy is with me to keep me sane because you're going to be working long days, hours at a time. You're going to need something to entertain yourself or pass the time. Otherwise, you're going to go crazy and it's not going to be as much fun. I mean, just sitting there singing a song while you're working is great. It makes the time pass and it doesn't feel as much like work when I'm doing it. Next up is one that I can't live without because it makes sure things are straight and it cuts down on time, which is my laser level. This is my DeWalt laser level. It has a magnet on it, so you can hook it up to corner bead, right? See this magnet on the back? It can attach to the wall or the corner bead or whatever, something metal, a beam, an I-beam or whatever it is. And it also has a slot right here. So you can drill, put in a screw in, drill a hole and hang this on it. And it swivels. I find it a lot easier to use. I bought a lower end Bosch one and it's way too sensitive. It jiggles way more. This one has a little bit of weight to it. So when you put it down, it's, it's, it doesn't wiggle as much. And whether you're framing walls, framing doorways, hanging doors, framing bulkheads, hanging pictures, it comes in handy with everything I'm doing, laying out tile work, not that I do tile because I suck at it. It is one of those tools that I use for every single job, it feels like. It's about 160, 170 bucks Canadian. I do not have the green one, I have the red one. What I like about it is it's easy to use. And if, if there comes a point where you're not using it anymore, you can just put it on Facebook Marketplace and somebody will buy it. Same for all these tools. Somebody will buy them. They won't pay for it what you paid for it, but they will buy it because they're super useful and people need them. Now, my next tool is going to be these extender poles. You're going to see these. These things here, right? They extend. I use them a lot of the time. There we go. These ones are five feet. They extend up to 10 feet. I use them typically to hang plastic. So I don't have to staple it to anything. I wedge the plastic up. I put this on. I put the zipper in the plastic so that way I contain the area that I'm working on and I can still be reckless with the noise or the, the dust and all that and keep the area clean and contained. I also use it to hang drywall or if you're doing tiles so to wedge something against the ceiling. Typically when I'm doing drywall, I'll have two of these. I will hoist up the sheet and I'll lean these against the wall and then I'll slide one in with my other hand holding it up and then I'll put this hand here. I'll grab the other one, bring it in, wedge it up, and then I can screw the sheet in. It makes my life a lot better. I love them. These ones are about, I'm gonna say between 50 and 60 bucks, but it'll come up on the pictures that I have. After that, this is probably the least glamorous tool that I have that I use a lot, that I use on every job. And if my wife knew how much I used one, she would be like WTF. It is. A rigid vacuum. Now, normally I'm not advocating for a certain brand. Whether you like DeWalt, whether you like Bosch, whether you, whether you like Milwaukee, all good. Whatever you like. There, there's a little differences in between. It's what you like, what works for you. For me, I've bought a lot of shop vac vacuums. They never last. They go two months, they fall apart, they break, they don't work. Nothing sucks more than having a vacuum that doesn't suck when you need to clean up. And that's my dad joke for this video. The rigid one, the pain in the butt is where I live. It's only available at Home Depot or you buy it online. You can only get the bags at Home Depot uh, or online. I can't just go to any hardware store and buy them. Although I'm sure the bags, it's not a big deal that you can alternate them. How, this vacuum gets used every day when I'm on a site and never fails till I break it by being careless and throwing it into the truck or the van or hitting it with something low, something falls on it. I'll get at least a couple of years out of it if I'm using it every day. 
I do not use this every day because I'm not working on jobs all the time. I'd work here and there. And I've had this one for three years. And it, it takes a beating. Last, and the one that when people see it, they'll say, what is that? Where did you get that? I need one of those. It is, what you see right here is my rolling scaffold. It's on wheels. It's about four feet wide. It's got these little metal benches here. You see the rungs. It's adjustable. It's a ladder. It's a bench. It's a workbench. It's storage for my tools. It's something I use as a dolly to bring things in and out. I'll lay two by fours across the top when I'm framing to store the materials and cut at the same time. It is indispensable. I cannot live without one. I did not have one for a little while when I wasn't uh, working full time and I left my business. It was the first thing I bought that I remember going, oh yeah, thank God this is easier. Just think about bringing your tools in and out. Or you have 42 by fours and you got to get them from the car or the truck or whatever you got them in to the garage or to the whatever it is. You can just throw them on top and wheel them over. It makes it, or you're, you're working in a basement, which I do a lot of, or I did a lot of at least. At the end of the day, I put all my tools onto that and wheeled it into the corner so that the job site was clean. Or when I'm framing, I throw as much of the lumber on and wheel it over to the section I'm working on and we'll cut everything there. Frame that section up and then I can move over, load up more, work on the next section. I love this thing. It helps me be efficient. It may or may not help you depending on what you feel about it. Most of the trades guys I know that buy one wonder how they live without one. And it's just something that doesn't really seem that sexy at the end of the day. So those are all the tools that I can't live without. I got two more that I'm going to buy that I want to try. One I've already owned, one I've never owned. So I'm going to buy what's called a knee lid. It's like a wheels that you, with knee pads on them, or knee pads with wheels on them and a seat so that when you're working on floors or subfloors, you don't have that up and down, up and down. You can wheel around on it. It's about 500 bucks. So I'm going to take the plunge and get that. The other thing I'm going to get that I've already had is a chop saw hood. I owned one when we had the business. When you're working in a confined space, a chop saw when you're doing trim work brings out a lot of dust. So the hood will contain the dust. You can even attach a vacuum to it, which I didn't really do. The hood did a really good job in and of itself. But I'm going to order one of those because I'm going to be working in my basement and I'm going to be working at a friend's house. And when you're doing trim, it really, really, really comes in handy. Or if you're doing um, laminate flooring, right? You're going to be, you want to cut it downstairs. If you put the saw outside, you're going to go outside to cut, inside to cut. It's going to be exhausting. You're not going to accomplish as much. The hood allows you to work in your space and keep it clean, which is kind of nice. So all that being said, what are some tools that you can't live without? Or are there tools that you're interested in knowing about? Let me know. As always, thanks for watching and good luck on your project.